We read from the Gospel according to St Mark, chapter 8, beginning to read at verse 31. Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. And he said this plainly. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and seeing his disciples, Jesus rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of men. And calling the crowd to him with his disciples, he said to them, If any one would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? And what can a man give in return for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. May God help us to understand his word. Amen. Jesus says, Whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. How much are you prepared to give up for something that means a lot to you? Some people give up all their spare time to their hobbies. Some play with train sets and others join mountain rescue teams. Peter Lawrence gave up his whole life to finding out what happened to his daughter, Claudia, and died before he found out. Jim Swire has made a similar commitment to getting to the bottom of the Panam boring and was similarly disappointed. How much are we prepared to give up in any cause? Jesus asks us to give up a great deal. Often we soft pedal this message. We believe we can retain our comfortable lifestyle and have heaven too. But that is not what Jesus promises. He says whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me and the gospel will save it. What does Jesus mean by those words? Let us consider them more closely. Firstly, whoever wants to save his life will lose it. What does it mean to want to save one's life? Wouldn't anyone want to save their life? Wouldn't any drowning man grasp a life belt? Wouldn't any sick person take medicine they knew would save their life or submit to a life-saving operation? Or does Jesus want all his followers to commit suicide? Of course not. But for some people, life or staying alive means so much that they will betray any, pers any person or any principle to ensure they remain in the land of the living. One need not go as far as Ignatius of Antioch and ensure a martyr's death by refusing all attempts to rescue us but Jesus' words should put remaining alive in perspective. Jesus comes first, and if he calls us to die for him, 
we should be ready to do so. But life to the Jews meant not just life and breath, but also what we would call way of life or lifestyle. It refers to rights and privileges. Even if we are not required to die for our faith, we may be unwilling to give up our lifestyle, our freedom, our security, our wealth and comfort, our little luxuries. Are we prepared to give these up? Are we prepared to give our money or our time to God's service? Jesus tells us we should be prepared to lose our lifestyle in his service. Anyone who seeks to hang on to what they have got will lose God's blessings in this life and eternal life in the world to come. Secondly, whoever loses his life for me and the gospel will save it. We are critical of those who we say throw their lives away, perhaps through drug or alcohol abuse or through an ill-advised career decision. Is Jesus condoning this? Not quite. It is the person who is prepared to lose his life for Jesus and the gospel, who is not afraid to be counted among Jesus' followers even when the going gets tough. That is the one that Jesus says will save their life. And also the one who is prepared to give up their lifestyle their rights and privileges for Jesus. These people, Jesus says, will save their life by eternal life hereafter and enjoying God's blessing in their daily life. So let us hear Jesus' words to us. Let us avoid the temptation to save our own lives and lifestyle and be prepared to give it all up. Being prepared to lose all we have, no matter how much it may be. And being prepared to waive any rights we may have had. Let us model Jesus' words that all who lose their life will save it by giving up our lives to his service. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you tell us in your word that we can do amazing things if we put our trust in you. We come now to say that we are sorry because we fail to take you at your word. We don't step out in faith because we are afraid that you won't be there. We hear your promises, but we don't always believe that they apply to us. When we look at Jesus, we see that he trusted you so much that he died on the cross for us, believing that you could raise him from the dead. We thank you for the forgiveness that comes to us through him and for his example of faith. Help us to become more like Jesus and to put our trust in you for everything we need. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus we behold the eternal glory of God and we see what the love of God holds in store for his faithful ones. With renewed confidence let us bring our prayers to God. We pray for those in the church who suffer persecution in the name and for the sake of Christ. 
Let them be supported by God's grace and by our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who make our laws and those who enforce them. May they always act with justice and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are ill and for those who care for them at home and in hospital. Grant courage and hope to the sick and inspire their carers with your Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. O oh, Jesus, I have promised to serve Thee to the end. Be Thou forever near me, my Master and my friend. I shall not fear the battle if Thou art by my side. No wonder from the pathway if thou wilt be my God. Oh, let me feel thee near me, the world is ever near. I see the sights that dazzle, the tempting sounds I hear. My foes are ever near me, around me and within, but Jesus draw the nearer and shield my soul from sin. Oh, let me hear thee speaking in accents clear and still above the storms of passion the murmurs of self-will. Oh, speak to reassure me, to hasten or control. Oh, speak and make me listen, thou guardian of my soul. Oh, Jesus, thou hast promised to all who follow thee, that where thou art in glory, there shall thy servant be. And Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Oh, give me grace to follow my master and my friend. Oh, give me grace to follow my master and my friend.